It's Rachel Nayland who is the first to go, not intimidated by the big favourite. Silver medal goes to Rachel Nayland on debut. Rachel, you're only the third Australian woman to ever stand on the podium at an elite world championship. You're with Anna Wilson and Liz Tadic. Has the gravity of that sunk in yet? Wow, um, that's quite an incredible statistic. I'm you know, pretty honoured to have only been you know, the third Australian female to stand on an elite podium. I mean, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, it feels amazing. Those, those are, are women that you know, we, we all look up to. They're our our former role models and predecessors in this sport and uh, I'm, I'm honoured really. What point did you realise that you might be in for a shot to you know stand on the podium? Marv came up to me with uh, one lap to go and just he was just so emotional and just so motivating it was incredible uh, it just you know it just gave me tingles and I I've never felt like that you know ever before the crowds were just incredible you know, there was coaches on the side of the road giving, you know, giving instructions each lap and, and you know, once I knew with two to go that the responsibility was on my shoulders, you know, to finish the race and actually to, to get a medal for Australia, it was the most amazing feeling. But I, I really felt like I was just so focused on the race and so focused on what I had to do that I didn't get nervous at all. It was quite amazing. It really wasn't until 500 metres to go that I actually, it, that it's, it started to sink in that I would actually maybe get, get a medal at the World Championships. And I was a little bit in shock to be, honest, to be honest, but it was the longest and most painful one and a half Ks of my life. So I was quite happy to get over the line, but yeah, it, I can't explain the feeling. It was just, it was just amazing. Say you will know what to do. The moment The presentation was quite, yeah, it was quite incredible. I, you know, I put my hands over my mouth and I was just, you know, everyone's just saying, you know, you, you look like you're resisting so much shock, but I was, you know. I, I'd never really been on a podium before in Europe and <laughs> to stand on the World Championships podium, yeah, it was something else. Rachel, you did the AIS boot camp last year, the selection camp, and you performed well, but you got left out of the squad. How did you bounce back from that? I was pretty upset when I didn't, yeah, when I didn't get selected, that's what I wanted to do for 2012 was to be in the national team. I'd never actually done like a full one year scholarship with AIS. So I was, yeah, I was pretty upset, but um, just after a couple of days, I, I moved on and realised that, okay, maybe that wasn't the best thing for me to do. So I think one of the most important things when you are, you know, when you're outside of the AIS or outside of the, the system, um, and as a, especially as a female with limited support in a pro team, that you really surround yourself with, with people in your life who you trust, people who can mentor you and people who believe in you. Not to prop you up and tell you you're great, because no one's ever done that for me, and that's, what, that's not what I want, and, and that's not what I want in the future either. Um, but what is important is having people around you who you, can, um, who you trust and who can be mentors for you. Mentors like Tracy Gordry, you know, she's been there at the top of the field. She's come through, you know, huge adversity. She's recovered from cancer and having a good friend like her has been, um, you know, has, has really made the difference in, in tough times. And the other, th the other person is Tim Decker, my, my coach from South Australian Sports Institute. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't wish for any, any better coach than, um, than Tim at the moment. So you've just signed with Team High Tech Products, an exciting team to go into in your first professional team. You must be looking forward to the year ahead. I can't wait for next year, 2013. I'm so happy to have signed with High Tech Products, the Norwegian team. I think the opportunities there will be, will be um, you know, really wide open. Um, I'll be able to have a really good support role for some of the riders, but also I think I might get some opportunities myself. So the next few years, I'm. Really, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, next year, obviously, my big goal is to start off with nationals um, and then to race the European season. World Championships next year is in Florence. It's right in my training ground in Toscana, so I can't wait for that. I'm just full steam ahead for, for Rio. I'm, 
It's been a, an absolute passion of mine since I was a little girl of eight years old. Like I grew up with Olympians, posters of Olympians on my wall instead of rock stars. So, <laughs> you know, the Olympics is something pretty, pretty special to me. And um, you know, any opportunity that I get to put myself forward for for Rio in the next four years, I'm going to do everything I can. And yeah, I'm just I'm really, really excited. Well, your passion is obvious, Rachel. Congratulations, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in action going forward. Thanks so much, Kate.